Hello, everybody. We are now getting back into our vowel teens. Um, we don't have too many more. This is the bottom of the chart here. Uh, we've been learning that the vowel teams that are side by side are vowel teams that make the same sound. So here we had AI, and that's a, a picture of a worm, and that's bait. And so AI says a. Then we found out AY is at the end of this row because AY is an ending sound in the words like day and play. But again, the sound is A. This next row are all the long E sounds. E, like when you're smiling, E. We found that EE -E is Jeep E. And I don't have Mr. Deer here right now, but he's going to pay us another visit at some point. Then we have EA, like in the word eat. All we have to do is add a T at the end, and we have this word that goes with this EA, eat. Then we have EY, and then, again, just like AY, it's an end of the word sound, but it still makes a sound E. So when you see EY at the end of a word, you know that you should pronounce it E. Then we got to these two, which are called our diphthongs. Diphthongs because they're kind of a twisting of the sound. So when we put O and I together, they go oi, oi. And again, just like A-Y and E-Y, O-Y is an end of the word sound. And so the example is boy, oi just like O-I goes oi, in this case O-Y, boy, oi, O-Y is at the end, B-O-Y, boy. Then we did our long O, again they're all in the same row, so they all make the sound O. So we have vowel team O-A in boat, and that says O, vowel team O-E in toe, and in that case the vowel team says O, and then vowel team O-W, which is at the end of a word most often when it says O, is um, a vowel team. Now, this is where the tricky part of our language comes in. Sometimes O-W says ow, and we saw that in our trick words, how, now, and down. All three had that ow sound, and in fact, the ending of down, we have a whole list of words that have that O-W end. We have town and clown and um, I was thinking of another one, but it left my mind. But anyway, if you go through, you're going to find that O-W end sound. Um, and so when you see that, you know, you might want to try that out. Now, here's the problem. <laughs> There are places, like in the word shown, he has shown me this before, where it's an O-W sound. Sometimes you have to play around with the word and if, to find out what makes sense in the given context, where it is in the story. Now, this whole row of vowel teams are oo sounds, like an owl says oo. And I think I've mentioned, as we've been reading in the past, when you see that O-O, oh, oh, it should remind you of the face of an owl. If you can imagine the owl's head here, that's his two eyes. And the owl says, ooh, ooh. So that sound is ooh. But all of these letters, or vowel teams, I'm sorry, make the sound ooh. Okay, so it can be a little bit confusing. So today we're only going to work on the first two. And the problem with this one, O-U, and I'll explain to you what it stands for, is like the, the vowel team O-W has two different sounds. O-W can say O or it can say ow. Vowel team O-U can say oo or guess what? It can also say ow. In fact, more commonly vowel team O-U says ow. But I'm going to show you those two different things. Oo also has two sounds. 
it goes oo like the owl, but sometimes it goes uh. We call that the short oo sound, uh. The long ou sound is oo. The short ou sound is ow. So, just these two for today. Mainly we're talking about the oo sound. I wanted to share with you. Oh, wait a minute. Look, Mr. Boat is coming. Oops. Oh, look, vowel team OA. You remember vowel team OA? Ah, you know what? It looks like there's something in the boat. Let's find out what it is. Ooh, look what I see. Vowel team OA again. And if we tap this out, it's pronounced K. The C goes K. I'm going to put the boat down here. The C goes K. The OA goes O, and the L goes O, so we put it together, K, O, L, coal. So that's a picture of coal, and that's the way we spell it with the vowel team OA. And let's check in the boat again, see what else is in the boat. And it looks like we have some soap. Again, there's the vowel team OA, which makes one sound, two letters that make one sound. So in this case, the sound is O. So if we tap this out, we have O soap. So that's the vowel team OA again in the middle of a word, and we make the correct sound O, and the word is soap. And the boat is here again. Let's see what this word is. Hmm, vowel team OA, but we have an F at the beginning, M, M at the end. So if we tap that out, sorry. Hmm, I'm not going to tell you. See if you can tell me <laughs> some other time. And there's one last thing in our boat. It's this. So if we tap that out, let me put it close to you. That is a G, by the way. It's kind of a stylistic G, but a still a G. So we go G, like that. Tapping it out, G. Okay. I'm not going to tell you what that one is either. But we're going to move on to our vowel team OU and vowel team OO. Both of them say ooh except sometimes they don't. All right, let's look at vowel team OO first. Vowel team OO, when it is more often, says OO. So here are some words that have the vowel team OO in them, and when you tap them out, remember vowel team going OO, I mean, going OO, vowel team OO going OO. So we tap it out, B, OO, T, BOOT. That's the first word. The next word has a blend, so we have to put those two letters together and to kind of blend them together. So we go brr, brr, and then we have our vowel team, ooh, brr, ooh, and then we put the M at the end, brr, um, broom, good. All right, the next word, we start with the F, and again, we have the vowel team, O-O in the middle. Remember that OO is going to make the sound OO, so we tap it out. You got it, didn't you, right? Okay, the next word starts with H, but in the middle we have our OO, again, OO, so we tap it out. Did you get hoop? Okay. Next word starts with M, but we have our vowel team OO. We tap that out. Moon, right? Okay. Here we have the OO, but we start with R, so we go. Roof. Okay, I hope you got roof. All right, next one. Have an S at the beginning, but our vowel team OO that says OO. So whenever you hear it, you hear OO. 
So we tap it out. Soon. Okay. The last three I'm going to let you figure out on your own, but I'm going to show them to you. We're going to look at this word. Blend at the beginning, so we would underline the S and the P. So here we go. Okay. This one starts with a T. There's actually a picture of it on here if you're looking closely. So we're going to tap it out. And then we have a digraph at the end. Say it together. And then the last one is a really easy one. So we've got one letter at the beginning and then our OO sound. So you're going to tap that last one out. Okay. So I hope you got all those. We're going to go ahead and look at what we call the short OO words. Those are the tricky ones. But I want you to notice something about the short OO words. Most of them have a K at the end or a D at the end. There's a few that are not like that. But we'll go through these words really quickly. Now the short OO sound goes uh, 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 like you're pushing something. Uh. So, uh, so we're going to try this out. Ready? B, uh, k, book. Good. There's a blend at the beginning. Notice that. So we've got to put the B and R sounds together. So we're going to go brr, and then the O, O, uh, k, brook. Okay, brook. The next one, remember, we're doing uh, C goes k. So we're going to go k. So you'll notice they all rhyme. Book, brook, cook. There's another blend at the beginning. We're going to put those sounds together. So we're going to go k, r, k, crook. Right? A crook. I don't know if you use, use that word or know that word, but it means somebody who steals things. Next word, starting with H. And again, all of them rhyme, book, brook, cook, crook, hook. And then the next word, I like this word again. It's one of those words that looks like what it's supposed to say. Two eyes in the middle, and they are looking. So the word is look, look. The next word, this is a chess piece. It also refers to, I believe, a bird, a kind of bird. So we're going to go like this, rook, rook. And here... We have that same word, but we add I-E, and I-E at the end of a word like that says E, okay? So we're going to go rook, E, rookie. Then we have a digraph with our vowel team and then K, so we're going to go sh, uh, shuck. And the last one, t, t, uh, took. So book, brook, cook, crook, hook, look. Rook, rookie, shook, took. You could almost write a Dr. Seuss book with those words. Over here in the next column again, the OO saying uh, not ooh, like an owl. So we have g, g, uh, uh, good, hood, hood, blend, st, ood, stood. W -w wood wood okay then over here it doesn't end with these don't end with k or d so we're going to attach them out anyway so we've got f -t foot m -u -r more mer -er. it's a hard word it's a more is a place where it's kind of like a a pondish fieldish kind of place. Next word rhymes with it is p or or poor. The next word uh that's what you get when you burn something and it's the black stuff left over. And the last word wool. So those are your exception words right there. All with the uh sound. Many of them are easier just because they rhyme. 
Now, unfortunately, if you take the G away from this word and put in F, it doesn't say U anymore. It doesn't say food. It says food. So again, more confusion, but I don't want you to get discouraged. We'll get it. Here's a, a poster with some of the words with pictures. So we have the cook, and we have books, and we have wool. wool. This is a wool scarf. Then we have foot, and look, and hook on the end of this, and wood. Okay? All right. Let me go quickly to OU. Generally, OU, even though we put it in the same line with the OO, it all it usually says OW, like OW. So we're going to quickly go through these words. I'm going to tap them. I want you to tap. Okay, it's really important. If you don't recognize it right away, it's good to tap. Okay, first one has a blend. K O OW. -d. So OU saying OW. Next one. We've got an ending blend in this case, okay? K count, count, count. Next one, looks like there's an ending blend, but here's something about this word. E is silent, so it's not going to say anything. Basically, we can leave it out for the time being. Ready? Starting with H. House, house. And you could replace this and put an M, and it would be Mm, ouse, mouse in a house. Next word, ooh, oud, loud. Next word, actually, it's going to be one of your trick words later on. So it's not really a trick word. You can, if you know your ow sound, you can tap it out. So it's out, out. Here we go with a blend at the beginning again. So you've got to tap out those blends. We go p r oud proud down here that word p out pout and these two words rhyme they have both have an ending blend you start with this word it goes r ound round this one s ound sound so that is the OU going OW, like OW sometimes goes OW, but we're trying to make it say OO. Now, I wanted to get you something with pictures, so I ended up finding this nice poster, but it's in cursive writing. So if you know how to read cursive, you're great, but if you really look closely, you'll find that it looks almost like the letters you would expect. The first word is one of your trick words. Anybody recognize it? Well, this is the letter Y, and this is O-U. So if we tap it out saying the O-U says OO, we can go Y, OO, U. Okay, this we're, we've got U, but we just added T-H, so we go Y, OO, and then our di digraph, youth. Here's a blend at the beginning, but this is O-U again, so we're going to go G, R, U. Group. And this rhymes with it, same O U and the letter P. So we're going to go soup, soup. Sorry, soup. Here's the picture of soup. This is a word you probably don't use very often. Um, it's more for people who drive. This is supposed to be an R at the beginning. Oops, R. This is a T, you can tell by the cross line. And this is the letter E, which is going to be silent. It's not going to say anything. In this case, the OU says OO. Again, I'm sorry it's confusing. OU most often says OW. But let's read it anyway. So this is R. R, O, T, O. Down here, you've got the T. There it is. It's here. And this is an R. This isn't the way I learned how to make an R, so I'm not sure why it's like that. But we're going to go like this. Trr, 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 and then O U, O U, same O, true, and then the P at the end, troop. Down here, you see this person cutting something out. I'm sure you've seen people do this, or maybe you've done it yourself. You know what that thing is, right? So this is a C. Here's the P again, 
and then we have letters O N and of course our vowel team O U in the middle saying OO. So if we tap it out, this is two beats. So we go K K OOP COOP and then we've got to do this part COOPON COOPON I'm going to skip this word. I don't even want to try and worry about it because we don't use it very often. You know what this word is, right? So here we have T again. You'll notice the T is on all these words. T O U C looks like that C A looks a lot like our uh, printed A and N T O U C A N spells this word, this animal's name. So we're going to tap it out. Ook, a n, took an, toucan. That's a toucan. And the last word might be good to know. This first letter is very confusing the way it's written. It is the letter W. So if I cut that off, you can see it, right? So that's the letter W. W goes woof. Here's our O U again. Oo, and N D. Wound. Wound. Okay, so those are OU saying OO, but don't forget, most of the time OU says OW, like in house and round and proud and loud. And we go back to OO, most often says OO, like in spoon and moon and tooth and boot. And then lastly, O O sometimes says oh like when you put something oh so how do we say it when we do the chart vowel team O U soup but this animal inside is a trout which makes the owl sound so we say vowel team O U trout soup ow Ooh, and try and remember and get those together. I will post these, I will, I'm sorry, I will put these posters on our Google Classroom um, as a, as a um, material, not under any label. Well, maybe I'll put it on foundations, but you don't have to do anything with it. It's just there for you to use. Then we have vowel team OO. The picture is a school and a book giving you the two sounds of O-O. Oh, oh. So we have vowel team O-O, oh, oh, school, book, school, book. And so the way, so the two sounds are oo and o. Oh. Vowel team O-O, oh, oh, school, let me face you while I'm doing that. Vowel team O-O, oh, oh, school, book, oo, Vowel team O U, trout soup, ow, oo. Okay, I know that's a lot to take in. My hope is that you will use the resource of having these pictures available to you on Google Classroom. And we will be talking about another vowel team, I think, tomorrow. I'll have to check the schedule again. All right, keep reading, guys. That's the best thing you're going to be able to do. I'm going to close with prayer. I didn't open with it, but I do want to close with it. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time together. Um, you are continuing to watch over us, and we are indeed grateful for all of your, your care and attention. Lord, we pray that this day will be a day to honor you and to glorify your name. And Lord, we pray these things in your name. Amen. All right, guys. That's it. Bye.